Time now for Ask the Panel, presented by Rogers Moments. We've had a large contingent on this segment from Gander Newfoundland in recent weeks, so you got to play the hits. And we're going to start with Ian. You have a question for the panel. What is the hardest shot for a goalie to stop? That's a great question, and I don't think the goalies are going to like to hear this answer, but it's going to be the twisted wrister snapshot where the player actually starts with the puck in one position and slowly drags it and changes the angle of the shot. And what that does now, goalies are taught to front the puck and not and stay even on it. And when they pull, get pulled off of that post, that's usually when the puck goes in. So if you ever want to see who does the best, it's Austin Matthews, because when he releases that puck from one point A to point B, it could be going top shelf, bottom left, five hole, the twisted wrister for me. Good one, Stewie. And I'm going to pick a couple of spots on the net. I think the low blocker was one I always liked as a player. Maybe not quite as glorious or as fancy, but can be really effective if you get just inside the post. But if you're looking to go top shelf, I think Johnny Goudreau is a great example of his ability to go top right um, over the, the goaltender's shoulder. So if you want to aim just sort of close to the mask and the goaltender's helmet so he doesn't have the chance to move his gloves. So those are two shots that have the um, capacity to be very effective. Ooh, I know what the Gander Flyers are thinking, too. Top shelf, we could just do the Zegras. Yeah. Okay, our next question for the panel comes from a Brampton, Ontario Oilers fan. And Ted, do you have a question? I wanted to know, if you were in charge, how would you divide the remaining game schedule uh, between Mikko Koskinen and Mike Smith? And a follow-up to that is, do you think that the Oilers have already decided on their playoff goalie, or are the next couple of games crucial as kind of like a trial run to see who's going to be the goalie of the playoffs? Okay, well, if you're a, you're a part of this organization, you are very pleased with the performance of Smith over the course of the last uh, month and how strong he's been. So you've got to think that they want to manage his load, but he's been good because he hasn't had too many um, starts this season due to injury. So he's found this rhythm, but you want to make sure that he's not worked too hard in the remaining games so he stays nice and fresh and ready to perform in the playoffs. Choo choo! It's the Mike <laughs> Smith uh, train here. Everybody all aboard because he's playing as uh, really great as of late. And I know he's 40 years old, but he only had 25, 26 appearances uh, this year. So he's well rested. I know he was dealing with some injury problems earlier on in the year, but he's playing a great, great game of hockey right now. But most, uh, most of all, the teammates are playing well behind him. So for now, it's Mike Smith's crease to lose, and we'll see how it goes. Edge, that was a good question. I could have used you when I was interviewing Jay Woodcroft earlier on. Thanks, everyone, for your questions, and enjoy the games tonight. This segment is brought to you by Rogers Moments. Enter now for your chance to win a VIP trip to the 2022 Stanley Cup Final at rogers.com slash Stanley Cup.